Alright guys, welcome back to the special edition of Mud Buddy Service Series and it is very special because we have a Sport V Drive. This is very exciting. This is really, really exciting. I have not done one of these for a while. So, and this is the way it came from the customer. Like I mentioned in my videos before, um, this is the first time I tear into this. So you guys are gonna be doing exactly the same as I do. Um, it is very simple. The gears, obviously in here, it's all gears. There is a gear that comes down and the one that goes so it's a 90 degree gear that's what i'm trying to say um obviously the linkage that goes from that comes from the transmission moves this gear and uh in either direction it goes into an input gear and then goes to the um shaft gear the prop shaft gear it is very simple there is a little bit of tight tolerances in the gears, like the back lash, the, the gear lash and whatnot, the bearing loading and all that. So um, I'm gonna start by disassembling all this and I'm gonna try, gonna try and keep it organized, as organized as possible so I can tell you what parts are what and uh, give you guys an opportunity to really see how it all comes together and apart and everything, all right? So let's start by removing this front axis, uh, axis cap. I am going to use a 3 16 Allen socket. Now these ones, you can use power tools, just make sure that they all they are loose and there is no dirt or grime or rocks in the screw head so there is no risk of you um, <clears throat> of you ruining the head or stripping it and then it becomes a bigger problem Okay, now on this, it helps if you loosen it. I'll explain to you what these are for later. So we're going to break the Loctite and we're going to break the seal on this. There is a little bit of silicone, that black RTV, and there is also an O-ring around this uh, sealing everything. Um, what I like to do on this, on this thing is put a garbage can down here so we don't make an oil mess. And then once you break the seal, it just should just, it should just pull out just like that. Perfect, no oil, sweet. I did leave it draining for a couple of, um, actually for about a day or so. I left this thing upside down draining just to ensure that I didn't make a mess while I was shooting the video. So once you remove the cap from the front of the drive, you, can, you have access to the taper roller bearing. When you want to check on this, obviously, you know, you don't want any weird or excessive scratching on the, on the bearing race or on any of the, the um, part of the roller bearing. Everything looks good. Now, at this point, there is really nothing you can replace right now. I will show you how to remove this thing back here. What I'm gonna do first, we're gonna take off the, the seal cap. This seal cap is just the exact same seal cap that we use on the HDRs, on the minis, Sport Vs. It is uh, one seal cap for everything, even on the on the big long tails, like the long tail 35, super long tail, they all use the same seal cap. This is a special tool that we made here, but you can use one of those big 
crescent wrenches. This uh, seal cap, just like everything else on the HDRs, minis, some long tails, this cap, it is a left-handed thread. So just keep that in mind when you're taking it off and putting it back on, you're gonna be fighting it and then you're gonna realize, oh crap, it is left-handed thread. So on this, what we wanna check for, obviously, the, that these seals are in a good condition and also the wear on this race. Um, this bushing right here is where, um, if anything, if you see any excessive rust or wear, there is gonna be oil or grease coming out and or water going in, which is not good. Um, the advantage that we have on this is that everything is replaceable. Go to backwaterperformance.com and they have all the parts. They have the seal cap as a kit or you can buy the seal separately. Um, also this bushing right here, you can buy it separately and, um, and then just replace it, okay? Now, the, at this point we have the shaft the shaft is free and it should be spinning freely <clears throat> okay now right here if you if you look up here I'm gonna show you now how the input gear works okay we have the input carrier that is called we call it the input carrier that is just two big bearings with uh, two spacers and it's got the, I forget the, the name of that gear, but it's, it's the gear that is gonna pretty much transfer the power from the, from the transmission into the prop shaft. Um, it is pretty sophisticated the way that it comes in and out, but this has adjustment. You can see how it spins. That is because we adjust it. We adjust the, the bearing load and we adjust the gear lash as well. That is just so, so it doesn't make noise and it, it wears evenly and all that. Um, this one, it is the same size Allen socket on these little bolts. Obviously when you get it, when you, um, when you take all this apart, these are gonna be tight. Just, there is no, there is no need for you to remove the bolts, the screws completely. That's not necessary. Just uh, make sure that they are pretty loose, about one and a half, two turns, and then you'll set, you'll set that, um, that input carrier free. Now, I use two of these punches. They are just 516 punches. You'll see two empty holes, and that is so you can get a hold of the carrier and spin it. You gotta be very careful when you're doing this so you don't damage the threads on the carrier or the threads on the on the casting. If you do that, it's gonna be... I, I, I don't wanna say that it's game over because you can fix him. You can fix those threads. It is very hard. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to get a special tool to uh, fix those threads. But um, you don't want to damage him. Okay, so you'll, you'll feel when it's completely out. Now, at this point, when it's all the way up, you can remove the shaft. I'm going to leave it in there for now. I'm just going to put, a, put a, all this stuff in a box just to make sure that it doesn't get contaminated. And, um, and I don't make a, a mess on the bench. seal this now the early early spore V's I don't I don't know what years but some spore V's this input carrier is gonna be made out of stainless steel um, <clears throat> the the latest ones we actually went with aluminum um, billet aluminum so it is really really strong and it's about it's considerably lighter um, this is what I was talking about you want to you want to check the the state on these bearings the gear you can see the wear on the teeth right here everything is pretty good there's no abnormalities on this 
it spins. You, you don't want to feel any crunchiness, any, um, you know, that the bearings are dirty. They are ball bearings. They're pretty hard, very, very resistant. If you change your oil consistently the way you should, um, this is what you're going to come out with. This is, I mean, you can feel it. It's smooth. Very, very smooth. All right, so now we're going to take out the prop shaft. Again, just take it out slowly, make sure you don't hit anything on the way out. And this is what you will have in that shaft, in that casing. This goes right here, pretty self-explanatory. This, ro another um, roller, uh, taper roller bearing inside, just to keep this concentric and make sure that it, nothing moves. This race right here looks pretty good. So we have the bearing race and we have the bushing where the, um, the seals in the seal cap right on. Everything, everything is really, really smooth. Like I said, this, um, this Port V, there was nothing wrong with it. I'm just using it for the purpose of these videos. <clears throat> but there was no complaints. It's got about, I believe the guy told me he had about close to 200 hours on it. And um, and it looks like they have changed the oil maybe only once, if that, because this is uh, the mercury oil. All right, so if you get a close up on this part right here, you will have the threads, and this is the the roller bearing that I was telling you about. That's where the what that races for. This keeps the shaft in, in place and on this other side you have another race which is the tapered one. This one right here. Now here's a tip for you guys that if you if you are going to replace this whole casting um, you do want to make sure that you check for that race. Um, replacing the casting is not as simple as just I'm gonna order one from BPS and then put it back on, transfer everything, no. Um, there is a couple of um, different ones. There is the very, very old ones, very early stages of the Sport V that this part right here, it was different. It was, uh, it was all one part, one piece. Um, this bearing is gonna be different on the really early ones. And this space right here is going to be different. This one is still the same and the old and, and new ones, so don't worry about that. But, um, <clears throat> but do make sure of that, make sure that you have that. Okay, all the, all the part numbers and everything are going are gonna to be listed. Or if you have any questions, you can contact me or Travis at Backwater Performance. But um, everything in here is replaceable. You can fix everything. If you, um, I want to say the common issue on these things, and it's not manufacturing issue per se, but it's more like if you shift at higher RPMs, what happens? Because these are all gears and the, gear, the gears are really, really hard. What happens is that the crankshaft, just the, the crankshaft, excuse me, the, the prop shaft, shears it just completely breaks this one engages the, the you engage the clutch it kicks into gear it spins this really really fast at i don't know 25 30,000 rpms and the prop you have a really heavy prop the momentum this and this it's going to just shear it off um i have seen it happen here at the shop that's why we recommend not doing it and it's not, it's not pretty, it's not a pretty scene. But when that happens, um, you obviously are gonna have to replace the, the, the prop shaft. The cool thing about that is all you have to buy is a prop shaft with these two things. Now when doing that, when you replace this bushing right here, is, it is recommended that you re also replace the seals and the seal cap. Um, but you do wanna make sure that, you, that the the shaft comes with a bearing race and this bushing right here. 
these two part numbers are always um, Travis will have the information for you and this you can transfer it from the old one to the new one there's this big nut right here take it out it comes the gear and the bearing comes out in one piece and then another piece is this and this one right here easy as that okay um, let me I'm gonna take this off really fast I'm gonna put the shaft on on the vise and I'm gonna show you how to take all these things apart I am not gonna take this apart because there is really not not a it's not necessary unless you get water in here and leave it there for months for it to rust there is really not taken apart you are gonna just have to replace the whole lower unit in itself and um, but very very rarely you will have to take this apart and uh, and it's really simple you, you just have to take there is um, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a retaining ring around this gear. Take it off, push the gear out, and there is another retaining ring in this part. Take that out and you push the bearings out and that's what it comes apart. That's how it comes apart. You do need a press. Um, there's part numbers for all that. Again, contact Travis at Backwater Performance or myself and we'll give you we'll be happy to give you the part numbers and if you have to replace it i can tell you how to replace how to take this apart it's really simple but you don't need, need a press it's pretty pretty hard in there all right so we're back with this shaft it is like i said really simple you just need we have a it's not a eye lock it, it, this is actually a tap lock right here on the front it is a one and one eighth um, size socket and uh, you just have to take it out you might need a little sometimes you need a little stronger gun uh, impact gun okay so once you take the nut out you see the splines everything looks perfectly fine nothing broken there is a washer Behind that nut, bearing looks, it looks really good, it feels really good, nothing, nothing bad, teeth look good, the wear in the teeth look good. Alright, this is what I was talking about earlier, on the early Sport Vs, this part comes out as um, in one piece on the new ones they are all um, they're all two pieces now this one is the one of the early ones is this bearing is pressed onto the spacer the difference on the on the new ones is like I said it's a different bearing this is two pieces and it is just for convenience also the this spacer it's a different length than the new one okay so like I said we're gonna check for wear to check make sure that the bearing looks and spins just fine there is nothing bad here nothing to replace um, also we're gonna check the wear on the crankshaft I mean on the on this shaft prop shaft nothing bad everything looks good if anything I think I'm just gonna replace the bushing back here and his seal and that's about it that's how you disassemble this part these are all the pieces that you will see on that lower unit I'll put them right here on the bench for you to see We have the input carrier. We have the prop gear. We have this little bearing, the one that goes on the back of the shaft to make sure that the gear stays in place. And the front cap, that's it. And obviously your shaft. But um, that's about it. That's all the pieces that go into it. Take a good look, make sure that there is no grime, there is no water, no rust. If you, for whatever reason, 
broke broke the um, the, ca the the casting. If you broke the uh, the housing, and you got water in, just get out of the water, run a little bit of oil, more oil through it, or drain everything if you can. Take the seal cap off. Make sure that everything is drained out of there, um, and that is just so we don't we don't occur in any any rust anywhere. Uh, remember, rust in the bearings is your worst enemy, and uh, obviously you don't want any grime or dirt or anything in there. All right, thank you guys for watching. Obviously, make sure that you dispose of your oil in the right way. There is places where you can. They'll come and pick it up, or you can take it to the, the auto parts store and they'll dispose of it for you. Um, but do it all the right way, and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.